Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn some tips regarding SSMS and how to align object explorer in different ways. And let's go for demo. Okay. This is the SQL Server Management Studio and this is the object explorer and this is the query window and this is the results window. If you want to close the query window, save changes to the following items if you want to save the whatever in query window click on yes otherwise click on no it will close the query window now you can see the object explorer if you want to close the object explorer click on close button now object explorer is closed go to view option and there is a object explorer option click on that now again you can see the object explorer now click on new query and shortcut is control n click on new query now you can able to see the query window this is the query window and this is the object explorer window okay now we are going to align this object explorer in different ways see here this is the thing now I'm going to write something on query window. SELVCT select star from sys dot databases and I'm going to parse it. Yes, I'm going to execute it. Execute it successfully. See the, these are the results. Okay. Now I'm clicking on auto hide option on object explorer see so object explorer is hided and now we are able to see the only query window and the results window if you want to click on this object explorer again now it will be appear like this but you cannot able to see the things i think uh, i had already written something like this uh, select star from databases but you cannot see the things on, but you cannot see those things on query window so then you can click on this button now it will align correctly okay now you can able to see the things select star from sys dot databases and again see here object explorer there is a yellowish bar and double click on this and drag this object explorer wherever you want now I am dragging this hello object explorer to the top and leave it here. Now, now you can observe here. This is the object explorer window we are observing at the top and we are observing uh, this query window down. Okay, again, I am going to click on object explorer double click on object explorer and drag to the other side and leave it here now you can see here now you can observe the object explorer and you can adjust the size also okay so this is the object explorer this is the query window this is the results window and uh, i don't want this object explorer this side also i would like to change this place from to bottom from here to bottom again double click on this i am dragging this object explorer and key like this now you can able to observe this object explorer at the bottom and you can see the query window at the top and in between this uh, query window and object explorer you can see the results okay results window now again i would like to change the object explorer position from again double click on the object explorer and keep like this now you can adjust the size now it will come to previous first position see object explorer and query window and this is the results window okay and uh, again see this is the object explorer 
double click on that and drag and keep here like this see now you can able to see the entire furry window and click on object explorer now you can see the entire object explorer window like this and again double click on object explorer again keep like this will come to previous position now i would like to tell you how to enable and disable word wrap option in sql server management studio see here go to tools option click on options click on text editor now i am going to expand text editor again transact sql expand transact sql click on general see here word wrap is already enabled see if i disable click ok now i disable the word wrap now if i write something like any data on query window you cannot see the uh, data like this you, you can use the cursor and you can move you can move the cursor from left to right and uh, right to left to see the data on query window when if you disable the word wrap for example if you enable word wrap see again transact sql text text editor transact sql under general option again we are choosing the word wrap now click ok see now you can see how the data is aligned in query window see if you want to write something how it will be aligned in query window i think you understood now i am going to do something uh, select star from sys dot data bases this is the one query if i execute this i got one result i got result now how to select how to comment on the selected lines and how to uncomment the selected lines if i select these lines this query and click on this comment out the selected lines see so these lines are commented again select this lines and click on uncomment these are uncommented now we can able to execute the uncommented lines and if these are commented we are unable to execute see here now we are commented the selected lines and now if you are going to execute it there is nothing we get it even i executed we can't get anything simply it will shows commands completed successfully okay i think you understood how to align the object explorer in different ways and each and everything what i explained in this video thanks for watching see you in next video